I think that people need to know much more about what the role played by charities in our society is. I don't think most people know what organisations are charities and I think they'd be pretty surprised if they found out that some of our biggest arts institutions, our national galleries, our museums, are all dependent on philanthropy to one extent or another. People need to understand that charities are playing a huge role in our society and that they're being expected to do more. I knew that we had a hugely rich source of data on giving in the surveys of household expenditure which the Office of National Statistics carries out every year. About 15 years ago I had commissioned some work looking at trends in giving so when I came here it was an ideal opportunity to update that work and to look at what had happened over 30 years. One of the big issues that we wanted to look at was whether as people have got wealthier they've given more to charity, have we got more generous? But we were also interested in the extent to which changing social attitudes, developing technology, global communications and so on had influenced the amount that people give to charity. What we found was that in the population at large, giving had barely changed over 30 years. We're still giving about the same proportion of our spending to charity now as we did 30 years ago. But there's quite an important reason for that. The wealthy are giving more, but at the same time participation rates in giving have been dropping steadily. And they've been dropping particularly amongst the younger age groups. So what's happened over time is that we've become increasingly dependent on a small group of wealthier, older donors. The amount that people give has always been directly related to wealth. So as the wealth gap has widened, so has the giving gap. And that's quite a, a worrying finding and one which government would like to address through making giving much easier for a much wider range of people. It's difficult to say why older people um, are giving more. It is partly that they have had more wealth. I mean, they're a wealthy generation. But it may also be something to do with different attitudes and a belief in what charities are doing. Young people may be a little bit more questioning. We were very interested in looking at the extent to which recession had an effect on giving. Does it make people more generous? Does it make them less generous? And what we found was that although giving does go down a bit in periods of recession, it doesn't go down as much as other areas of spending. So people do tend to maintain their giving as far as they can. So that was quite an interesting finding. However, we haven't got full findings for the current recession and we think this is more volatile, so it's possible that giving will be more affected by this recession than we've seen in the past. There is change in the causes that people support over time. We've seen the hospice movement growing very fast. It's quite clear that people value their local hospices and want to be able to put relatives in them for care should they need it. Other areas that have grown over the last couple of decades are giving to international charities as global communications have expanded and we've understood more. We also know that international causes tend to be supported by the most highly educated and professional people in society. The government is hoping that philanthropy and giving more generally will play a bigger part in building society and in creating what they call the big society. And I think some of the messages from this suggest it's going to be quite hard. I think the challenge today is actually to get more people to come into giving, especially more wealthy people, because there are many who don't give. What concerns me most is that social need is going to grow, but philanthropy is not necessarily going to grow in the right areas to meet it. When people give, they give to the things they care about. It might be faith-based giving. They can be very partisan in their giving. In order to support a stronger society, we need to find people giving to a much wider range of causes.